Happy New Year, Sylvia. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing really well. How are you doing today, Coach Wan? Very well. I'm so glad to share this great news with our friends here at ICOA. So before we start, could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Sylvia Tran, and I was a student uh, in Mechanical Engineering Department of Penn State University. And uh, recently, I just got a job offer from Honeywell Integrated in Mason, Ohio, and uh, I'm going to be a mechanical design engineer next January of 2019. Yes, just in a few weeks from now. Yeah. Before we work together, um, how did you feel about searching for a job as an international student? I feel that uh, it might have a chance to do it, but then the chance is really, really slim to do so. And yeah, I, like I have seen like so many of my friends like got rejected so many times. So like they just feel like uh, they just give up and they go back to the countries instead. And then I was about to do the same before I was able to meet you. <laughs> And now you don't have to. I'm going to visit you in Cincinnati. <laughs> yes. in Ohio, Mason, Ohio. Before meeting you, I keep like trying to apply online. But I think like a day I apply up into like 20 jobs. 20 jobs like, a day. In, yeah, including like going on a website and then like uh, using the one click um, apply on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Like up to 20. But then like really rarely I would get back. Um, just because of the visa status and stuff it's very depressing at that point and then before my 90 days of um the opt um unemployment deadlines gonna like stop um like i started meeting you and you taught me from the beginning again like how to make the resume how to do the cover letter and then from your resume i got like so many calls from agencies and then like, from the companies as well um before meeting with you i would just like uh, construct my resume in in a very general way, like um, traditional my, way, right? yeah, traditional. My GPA in there, um, my school, my coursework that I did that I think that might, can make me sound smart, and then all the professional that I did, but nothing actually related to the mechanical engineering experience. And after meeting with you, um, I learned that um, you have to like construct your resume that in the targeted. Um, job title that I wanted and then um, you just like made me uh, do the resume like from scratch again and targeted everything in my um, mechanical engineer title so that yeah. was great yes so we we define the selling points and then we start over yes right? everything from yeah. scratch <laughs> yes and from the brand new resume when you apply for job what happened uh, from the brand new resume, wow, when I apply for a job, like I got so many responses and um, I think I would say that response rate like increased like by 80% at least and then like every day I would get the calls from the agency like trying to be like, hey, do, are you interested in this kind of position? Yes, lots of lot. negotiation, lots yeah. of communication, which every is a day. great thing every day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so they are like practicing for your phone screen interview as well. So that was great. <laughs> mm -hmm. And those jobs, sometimes you didn't even apply for it. Because yes. you have the account online with the strong keywords. Yes. Those profile pull recruiters to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. And can you talk about the redesign of your LinkedIn profile? And after meeting you, like, <laughs> you were so careful about it too, like, like, you made me put, put pictures on, like, in a certain angles, and then choose, like, certain pictures for background, and then, like, you fix all the small details on the Lincoln, so it makes me look very professional, and actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> and <my> likable. <laughs> yes. Right? And likeable. Like, yes. when the brand new LinkedIn, when someone look at your LinkedIn, you feel like you are a very likable person. Yes. That's one thing. And can tell right away within the first glance that you are a mechanical engineer. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. And then after that Lincoln is constructed, I also like have friend requests from recruiters as well. Wow. So wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's not like you try to reach out to people all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. People reach yeah. out to you. Yeah. So that, that to is you. amazing. That is amazing. Uh, so you, can you go through? Can you think back about our methodology to talk about the career goal and then? That session that we had to, for the to find your selling mm-hmm. points for the job. Well, I would have to say like because like mechanical engineer is like so general. Like you literally can go in any department that you want, and then uh, because that during my college day I was taking business class and then some a uh, six month certificate. So like my mind is kind of like all over the place. And then just the fact that I got rejected so many times. So like I was like, I was tailored myself to be safe, suitable for any kind of job that was available and not targeted in any job department. And I think that is my first mistake that is making my resume too general and not focus on the technical skills that I have. Mm-hmm. But then after the Excel section that we meet and I was like, oh, so all of my experience are related for mechanical engineer and my university actually trained me for this job. And then that is what I realized. And then after like you helped me focus the resume on the job and then yeah, mm-hmm. so many calls coming <laughs> yes yes I, I I remember that you told me actually at that time I didn't ask you to apply for any job yet yeah <laughs> we just finished uh, crafting your new work profile right mm-hmm. and then you said that coach Kwan I just got bored this morning so I sent out three applications and I got three calls <laughs> yes 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 I was so shocked that day. I was like whoa <laughs> That is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And I remember, you know, like me myself as well at the beginning of my career life, um, sometimes you didn't realize your value or your potential. Mm-hmm. Right. But I'm glad that our selling point fighting session that you had with me, um, you found your potential. You found all the valuable skills that you have had combined throughout your school life right Mm -hmm. your school projects so please showcase those experience on your resume yes so can can you tell me more a little bit about you know why at the beginning you didn't feel like you you can highlight those projects on your resume well so when they for resume you're supposed to put like professional experience right but then i didn't know that i didn't really think about it that all the projects that i did can actually count as an experience as well i didn't know that resume is like the game about like how you like structure it and then like um make keywords out of it so like my resume before as all about like club activities that I did and only like coursework that I had like not really tell about like the projects that I did and then what I had to do in the project mm-hmm. section. So mm-hmm. like no skill learn, just saying that, oh, I know this software, but there's no proof that I actually can do it. Yeah. Can you uh, walk through a little bit what kind of experience at the beginning that you put in your resume? Yeah, so in the beginning, I put some internship, but um, they are all like unrelated to my major. Even though it's real job, but it's yeah. irrelevant to your yes, it's target very job. Yes. Yes. And then we, we remove all of that yeah. from your profile, from your resume, from your LinkedIn. Can you tell me more about how you created your compelling stories? Well, um, so the keywords that you made for me, you just have to choose the projects that use those kind of software mm-hmm. and then present the project management. And for the project management part, I think it's like pretty easy to find because like most of the projects you have to work with other people as well. Mm-hmm. So you just, you just have to like find the right keyword and then showcase your teamwork with other members. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Since we 
work together. We got your career goal mm -hmm. now. We have your selling points. We have your compelling stories. And we been through networking yes. experience. Yes. Now, real big interviews. How did you feel about your interviews with Honeywell Intelligrated? During the interviews, like I feel calm, way calmer than I thought. Mm -hmm. um, and even though this is like my first time actually doing a technical interview, but um, after all the like practicing with you and then and doing the networking, I feel very prepared in the interview. Like I was able to answer all the questions and then even make jokes about it. So like, I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to do that. <laughs> so during the interview, you didn't feel scripted? Nope, not at all. You even just... made the interviewers laugh. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what yeah. did... What did I say is it's about when you interview, when you go for the interview, all you need to do is to create conversation. Yes. Right. Small talk first and yeah. then um, answer all the questions that they give to you too, but like in the conversation style, not like scripted and trying to like remain eye contact with them. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, you taught me how to networking and actually the networking really helped me calm down and get used to the situation during the actual interview so like it, everything helps in a certain kind of ways and help me get in order to get this job so thank you so much for De definitely definitely <laughs> it's a team effort and thank you for following you know uh, my methodology closely um, it's great to have you as my student for sure thank you